I'm really confident this year, boys. And in fact, I'm going to read out my five and then get your thoughts because I reckon there's two or three that are absolute non-negotiables. So the favourite, five, Vauban, has to go in for mine. Vauban. Three, <laughs> don't start on the we pronunciations, win. three without a fight, one gold trip, 20 more felons for a little bit of value, an 11 ash run. Love the Geelong Cup run this time. Dan, who are the five you've pre-prepared for us? Well, there's a couple of common denominators. Five Oban, clearly on top. One gold trip I have to have. I think he's going terrific. Without a fight, for obvious reasons. Future history, number 21, is my best outsider. And six Sulcum. I think he's a must to at least consider. You're, you normally dance to a different beat. <laughs> <laughs> what have you come up with? I'm going to give you five numbers, but I'll clarify it in just a moment. Five, Vauban, seven, absurd, three without a fight, 12, to Schwan Sweet Jr., love saying it, and 20 more felons. But with number five, Vauban, I'm just about to use the M word. Maliki. No, Dan, it's not about you, mate. <laughs> moral? Moral. Melbourne okay. Cup moral. I think he is a moral. Have you ever said that before? Never. Wow. Never. I, I just look, he ticks every box. He's drawn well. Ryan Moore's gone and won the Breeders' play, uh, Breeders' Cup on the weekend. He's going to run the trip, no problems at all. He's strong, he's fast, he's on pace. You know, he's on target to start the second shortest price Melbourne Cup favourite since Farlow. Yeah, the other ones go. Well, <laughs> incentivised got beaten, but he ran a great race. He did. So. I'm keen. Well, out of that, I think we can settle yep. on two, maybe three locks. Any arguments yeah, around three. Vauban and without a fight? Well, Vauban's got to go on top. We've all tipped him on top, so he is right there at the yep. top of the list. He looks fantastic. So Vauban on top. I think without a fight to the other, moral to go in. <laughs> and well, he wasn't suited on the wet last year. He's a much better horse. He's had a better preparation this time round. Um, the track's going to suit. Terrific no rider. No argument here. No argument with him. All right. Is gold, why isn't Gold Trip? Hey, gold Trip's not in your five. The defending champ. No, he's not. He's not. I, I wonder, I worry about where he's going to be in the run. He's got 58 and a half kegaroos. He's going to have to drag himself into that race with that weight. I'm not saying he can't win, but he's not in my top five. You sort of are in a way. Um, <laughs> I think he goes in. You didn't have him in your top five last year either. What, what have you got against Gold Trip? Nothing personal. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's no, going better than last year. He's airborne. He? Yeah. He's airborne. It just bothers me where he's going to be in the run. Well, he's going better on the drier tracks this year. He I've is. got him second. You've got him third. Do we he's just got to go in? in. Okay, yep. he's in. Gold yep. trip is in. Thanks. Overruled there. Yeah, thanks for my input there. Uh, you haven't got the number seven absurd in, I noticed, either of you. That stay no, on because I think it's... winner. I think... Uh, I was at Royal Ascot, and I think it's absurd you're even mentioning the horse <laughs> in the same breath as Vauban. I'll put up a case for him here. First of all, he was very fresh into that preparation at Royal Ascot. Following that, he's won the Ebor. It was a tough win in the Ebor. He got to the front a long way from home. Frankie de Tori just, he looked gone, but he kept fighting and went comfortably on the line. That Ebor form has got some relevance to the Melbourne Cup over the years. It's got relevance because it makes up the field with a few runners that <laughs> can go around <laughs> and finish right. in the top ten. <laughs> well, I suppose this I'm is interested the... in one you've got down the bottom, though. More, More felons. felons. Yeah, I noticed him. Love the run at Geelong. Geelong, yeah. He's got a little bit of good form in Europe. You haven't mentioned my other one there, Deshwan Sweet Jr. I don't <laughs> think it can win. I love saying it. <laughs> Went around last year. Probably not a lot of luck, but surely... It's got to make up another five lengths to get into the top three this year. The pointy end is better this year than last year, I think. I'll, I'll grant you that, but it's a terrific name, though. More felons, more felons, no more felons. But are you... So more felons, yes. Yes, Used but to be known as not in your rider. five, though? He's not, but not far off it. It was an okay. eye-catching run at Geelong. We've got a fourth. So he's in, OK. More felons is in. And then Come on. that gravitates to perhaps something that I suggest that gets him down the bottom. I can make a case for future history. It'll be my best outsider in the mm. race. Serious? It profiles for Mar Eustace, similarly to horses like Persan, Floating Artist, High Emotion, who have all run well in the Melbourne Cup. Handy Coming jockey. into the race, yeah, Holly Doyle. I mean, What's superstar. What's her record like in the race? Well, uh, it could be one for one after <laughs> <laughs> riding future history, which might be a topical, ominous name. So I think future history goes in. Well, this is the Dan Malecki show, so you might as well stick it in. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that one, actually, because future history would be my sixth pick. In okay. fact, I'll, I'm going to put it in here so people remember that it was my sixth pick as well. It, it's in. 
Future okay. History goes in as our collective top five for our box trifecta. Confidence levels high. Take us through the five, Dan. Number five, Vauban. Three, without a fight. One, gold trip. 20, more felons. And 21, future history. Magnificent. Let's go and put it on, fellas. Imagine what you could be buying instead. For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.